Good afternoon everybody and once again welcome back to the video. In this video I'm gonna be talking about delete partition in Apache hoodie and how you can leverage delete partition feature to delete a particular partition from your transactional data lake. Before we begin the video special thanks to Aditya, James and Lee from the Slack community channel. So let's quickly understand what a partition is right. In Apache Hudi, data is typically, typically organized into partition based on a certain criteria such as date or a specific attribute. This partition acts as a logical unit that enables efficient data storage and processing. Now it's pretty common right, uh, most of the time you know in the data lakes we partition our data by a year, a month and a day and uh, in case of streaming use case you could have also a time level partition for example an hour, a minute depending upon the use case right. Now. Uh, again, I want to take a very simple example uh, where you could leverage delete partition, right? So one of the uh, use cases, A, uh, you want to delete the older data. Let's say you have you have stocks data in a transactional data lake. Now let's say you want to delete data, um, uh, uh, you know, 1999, year 2000, 2001, you want to delete all that older data. Why? Because, you know, it helps you to, you know, uh, optimize the cost, right? Because if you're deleting older partition, you have less data, meaning you're going to pay less uh, storage cost, right? That's one reason to do that. Second is governance purposes, right? Let's say uh, you were audited and you were asked to delete a particular partition, right? So in those scenarios as well, you could use uh, the delete partition feature in which everything inside that partition would be marked as uh, deleted. As I keep saying, right, the best way to learn something is to try it out, right? So let's do a hands-on lab. So we have a very simple code. I'll explain you what we do. Uh, over here, we define the imports on this line. So again, there's nothing that I need to explain you over here. We define a Spark session. So again, pretty straightforward. Nothing that I need to explain here. We are creating a glue context. Again, same same thing. I have a method called upsert hoodie tables. This is going to upsert into the Apache hoodie table. Uh, I am using a library called Faker to generate a, 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 a transactional data lake uh, for customers, right? So here you can see I'm generating about 100 customers. I'm creating a Spark data frame. And then all I'm doing is basically calling the upsert method. So I can basically create an Apache hoodie data lake. Once we have the data lake, uh, it is partitioned, then we can learn how to delete a particular partition. So here what I'm saying is the database name as HoodieDB, table name as customer, record key as customer ID, precom key which is used for D2 purposes. I'm using timestamp, partition field by state. So I'm saying I want to partition my customer by state. A table type is copy and write, method as upsert, index type as bloom, uh, enable partitioning as true. So I'm simply setting that flag as true. Um, and then I'm providing the Spark data frame. So again, this particular uh, glue job, all it will do is it's going to create um, a customer table on S3. It's going to partition the data by state. Once that is done, then we'll see how we can delete a particular partition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy paste all these code. I will head over here and paste this one here. Click on save. Then head over to the job details. Make sure the version is glue 4.0. Uh, I think AWS uses Apache Hodi 0.12.2 version, right? And then scroll down, make sure the, uh, you pass the configuration, the data, the, the data lake format as Hodi, and the additional Python modules, you're gonna use Faker over here. Uh, the configuration will be given, you, uh, given to you in the code itself. So if you scroll on the code, uh, on the top, you will see this configuration. So simply copy paste that over here, okay? So save the job. Uh, and make sure to change your S3 bucket name. So let me just make sure I show you that. Over here, I'm using a bucket called Shamil Shah Hodi Demos, but uh, yeah, on your account, whatever buckets you have, uh, please make sure to put the name over here. Now, all we gotta do is run the job. So the job is now in the running state. I will resume the video once the job is complete. It's gonna create a Hodi table for us, and then we'll learn how to delete a partition. So the job is finally complete as you can see and now if I go back to the S3, I see my uh, table called customers and here is all the partitions, right? I could run an ad hoc query over here, etc. Now let's learn how do we, how can we delete a particular partition? So now what we need to do is comment out all the code above because we have to delete the partition, right? So I'm commenting out all the code and this is the code for delete partition. First, what I'm doing is I want to delete a partition called Connecticut. So let me first show you on the S3. Here you can see I have a I, I have a partition called Connecticut. 
So what I'm doing is spark dot read dot format as hoodie, and I'm loading everything uh, uh, into the uh, into the memory, and then I'm basically saying where state is equal to Connecticut. Again, this is just to show you. So I, I'm doing dot count. So what you will see is how many records you, we have in that particular partition, right? So that will be printed on the console, and this is the code to delete a partition. So what we do is over here is we say spark dot create data frame. We provide, uh, we create an empty data frame. As you can see, we use dot write, then we use dot format, and then dot options. We provide an empty uh, dictionary for the options, and then we say hoodie data source write operation. We specify that as delete partitions, and then what we need to do is we need to provide the partition that you want to delete. So hoodie data source write partition to delete. Would be state is equal to Connecticut. That's the partition that I am looking for hoodie to delete. And then again, all I'm doing is again printing uh, the count. So basically, after deletion, I should see the count as zero, right? So again, all I'm doing is you know reading the data, and then I'm saying give me uh, the data where state is equal to Connecticut, and I'm doing a count. So I have a star star over here. So first, I should see some count over here. After that, I'm deleting a partition, and after that, I should see basically zero, right? So let's copy this code. Okay, uh, we'll go back to glue, go to the scripts, replace this, click on save, and then I'm gonna run the job. So now the job is in the running state. I will resume the video once the job is complete. Job is finally complete. Let me show you the output. Uh, as you can see, Connecticut shows one, which means uh, over here when I made a print statement, I have one item in the in the in the partition Connecticut. Then we deleted that, and then we are printing it again, right? So if you see on the console, Connecticut star star zero, which means data in that partition is now deleted. So you're gonna still see the particular folder on S3 uh, because later on when you are upserting or you're inserting more data, Hoodie Cleaner will essentially perform cleaning action, right? Um, so that's it for the video. If you have any additional question, please make sure to post the questions in the this particular video or you can post it on the Slack channel. If I do not know the answer, I'll probably ask, I'll learn myself and I'll probably get back to you shortly. With that being said, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you have enjoyed the video. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.